So I recently wrote an article about the differences between analog and digital stage boxes, and I thought I might as well make a little video about it as well so you could kind of see what's happening here if you're not familiar with them already. What is a stage box? The primary purpose of stage boxes is to move a bunch of signals, a group of signals, from one place to the other. So for moving simple signals, we have standard cables, an XLR cable or a jack cable. But if we want to move a group of them, the easiest way is to use a stage box. All stage boxes have XLR inputs and outputs. The, some of them have additional inputs and outputs as well, the digital ones. But we'll move on to that in just a minute. So let's begin by looking at the two. Let's begin with the analog one. What does it have? A whole bunch of analog XLR inputs and a whole bunch of XLR outputs. They're numbered. All they are is a bunch of cables, a bunch of XLR cables in a bigger cable. There's no difference. There's nothing scary about these at all. They just move a bunch of signals from one place to the other. So if I take eight, number eight here, I know that if I plug in a microphone into number eight, it comes out number eight at the mixer or wherever I take this to. Let's look at the digital one and then we'll talk about what we use them for and some major differences. Here's a digital stage box. This is a Midas DL32. 32 channels of input, 16 channels of output. What does it do? It moves groups of signals from one place to another. In the case of this venue, it moves groups of signals between the mixer and the stage. I'll plug in my microphones on the stage side and they will be sent to the mixer. My mixes, such as my main PA left and right and my monitor mixes, will be returned to the stage from the mixer on these outputs. So I can cable up some active monitors on the front of the stage here and feed them from the mixer via these outputs. So this just interfaces with the mixer. It sends signals from the stage and it brings signals back. It's how it does it that's different. Because although you see these XLR inputs and outputs on the front, it's the functionality behind them that differs. So if it's set up and it's working, it works just like a normal stage box. But if it's not set up or it's not working and you need to diagnose the problem, you need to know what's going on behind the scenes. So let's turn it over. First thing, first things first, power. Digital stage boxes require power. That means if you don't have power and it's not turned on, you'll get no signal. So if you're only used to analog stage boxes, that's something to look out for. Let's plug it in. The second thing to look out for is the way that it transfers audio to and from the stage. In the case of this stage box, there are multiple inputs and outputs that you see here and they all serve different functions. In the first instance, what you want to do is find out the standard that your mixer is using to communicate with the stage box. That's basically just you finding out which connection you should use to connect your stage box to your mixer. The connection happens on one of these CAT cables. This connector is called an RJ45. You could call it an ethernet cable. It's technically not, but it's just a regular network cable that you've probably seen before in computers. And what we need to do, if we're plugging this straight into the mixer, is we just take one end of it, and we go into AES A, A being our primary AES channel. And we take this end, and it goes into AES A on the mixer. From there, we have to select the input routing on the mixer. That's a whole other topic in itself, so we won't go into that. But what you need to know is you need to know that AES50 is the standard that we are using to send multi-channel audio, so that's groups of signals to and from the mixer. Ultranet is a technology used in Midas and some other products. It's just another way, another format of moving the audio from place to place. We're going to ignore that just now. 
ADAT is another format, but it's mostly for communicating local, so you can expand this with ADAT. AES slash EBU is only two channels, so we can't send eight channels of audio or 12 or 14 or 24 using AES EBU. MIDI, you should know, is just audio data. We don't need to think about it. It might not be AES 50. It could be MADI. It could be Dante. What you want to look for is you just want to find the standard that is used for multi-channel audio. When you know that, you can connect it, and then you'll be on your way. Let's talk about another difference on the front side. You'll see that we have light here, so we know we have power. There's no light on the sync, so you can use these sync icons, sync lights, to know if you're connected to the desk, as well as information on the desk. We have a mute button here. If we wanted to mute all of the signals, if we were going to unplug it, unplug some microphones, plug something in again. And we have these lights here that show us phantom power. This could change from digital stage box to digital stage box. But something to know is that most digital stage boxes actually have the preamps inside the stage box. So it's not like an analog stage box where you're just carrying a microphone signal to the mixer. These take a microphone signal in, gain it up with the mic preamp, like you'd find on the desk, the mixer, where it's now a line level signal, and they then convert it into digital so that they can send it to our digital mixer using these network cables. The same happens on the way out. We receive a digital signal back in the box. It gets turned back into a line level audio signal, and out it goes to our amps. So how do we use these in tandem? How do we use both analog and digital stage boxes together? Well, I would use this digital stage box to take sound to and from the stage, to the mixer and from the mixer to the stage, where I might use this analog stage box for a zone on the stage. Let's say the drums. It's quite likely I'm going to use eight microphones on the drum kit, so why run eight XLRs to this stage box when I could run them all grouped together here? They're very flexible. You can do whatever you want with them. So in summary, stage boxes just move signals from place to place. How they do it differs between them. And if you're using a digital stage box, I'd advise getting a hold of the manual and finding out which connections you need to hook up to make sure that you get signal in and out of your mixer. We'll take a look at routing in the mixer another time. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. Uh, leave me a comment if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about. Um, if you guys are interested in learning more about the stage and the equipment on the stage and all the way that everything interconnects, then I have a free workshop that you can take. I'll leave a link to that down below. And I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks a lot.